Ryan, so there's no official motive at this point, according to police, but San Jose police saying that there is some type of connection among the three people who are in custody tonight and the baby's family. The exact relationship is unknown, but there is a cause for celebration for this community as the mom and baby are reunited tonight. Our community is probably overwhelmed with joy that a child gets returned to their family. Baby Brandon is safe in the arms of his mother after being snatched and carried away by an unknown man caught on surveillance video Monday afternoon. Since it is a parent's worst nightmare, we are fortunate that this resulted in a positive outcome. San Jose police, including members of the gang unit, approached a small apartment complex on the 2300 block of Mather Drive this morning. A person working at a skilled nursing facility across the street says one of his employees recognized the vehicle authorities had notified the public about and called in a tip. We looked for video evidence. We looked for witnesses that saw different things. So it was a variety of, of factors that helped us solve this case. Authorities took away one man from the apartment. They also confirmed to me that one of those arrested is the man seen in this disturbing video. The man who allegedly entered the family's home on Elm Street and took baby Brandon. Another person in custody is a woman who was with the grandmother yesterday just before the abduction. Authorities say the grandmother was taking care of the baby yesterday while the mother was at work. The grandmother left the baby inside the apartment and was getting groceries from the car. And when she came back, the baby was gone. Sometimes these type of incidences turn up for the worst. But today, it is a good, a good day. Law enforcement officials say baby Brandon was found inside the apartment unharmed and taken to a local hospital to be reunited with family. Neighbors saw the baby being carried out by authorities. You know, the mother of the baby did not wish to speak to reporters and is asking for privacy at this time. But again, this community is celebrating and breathing a sigh of relief that mom and baby are reunited tonight. And, and Kenny, I guess one of the big questions right now is the why. Why this family, why this baby, do they believe it was targeted? So at the press conference uh, earlier today, we were asking San Jose Police Department about the connection between the family and the three suspects who are in custody. Police sources telling me that this is likely gang related, but again, no official motive released by the San Jose Police Department. All right, thank you very much. Kenny Choi reporting live in San Jose.